of Crash Nebula. Oh boy, this is gonna be the best Crash Nebula ever. Previously on Crash Nebula. I know what happened. Get on with it. Oh boy. Hello, common fairy subjects. My husband and I welcome you to this interactive training film. Newfangled magic. We had to rely on our wits in my day. <laughs> if one is viewing this uh, film, one must be suffering a lack of magic. One should follow the on-screen instructions to learn how to use emergency magic wish stars. And that is all. Um, yes, very good. Very good indeed. <clears throat> Carry on. Hey, what's happening? We're in the training movie. I think it's going to teach us to use emergency magic reserves. Wow, that was King Oberon and Queen Titania. I didn't know fairies had a king and queen. We haven't for a long time. This must be a really old movie. But we can't stay here. We've got to fix my TV. How do we get back? I guess we'll just have to follow the instructions. Come on, Timmy. What am I supposed to be learning? Let's start with the basics. Try moving around using the control stick. I get this. And the C-stick orients my view of the world, right? That's right. And of major importance, you can talk to me and Cosmo whenever you want. Shouldn't that be Cosmo and I? Try talking to us, sweetie. Hi, Timmy. It's great to talk, so do it whenever you want. Hello. My godparents tell me you used to be royalty. Did you fairies bring your godchild into the training film? That's right, Your Ex Majesty. We're trying to fix Timmy's TV so he can watch Crash Nebula. Hmm, very well. Pay attention, Timmy. Now, what was my line? Oh, yes. There are times when wings just get tired. In these situations, you may need to jump. Let's find out how. Now then, jumping is vital to getting around. Let's tackle this staircase. Hi there, ex fairy Queen Titania. Teach me stuff. Well, one is shocked. Do children no longer have manners? Not anymore. TV is taught them that manners just waste time. Sorry, your fairy ship. Maybe you could teach us about emergency wish stars anyway? If one must, but one will complain to the appropriate authorities. Ahem. Collect three stars to gain one wish. It's as simple as that. I don't see any stars. Wish stars can be frisky. You may have to sprint to catch them. Um, can't find your star? Search everywhere and bounce any 
switch, you see. What's the worst thing that could happen? That's my motto. Switches do all kinds of things, Timmy, such as opening doors or moving objects. To press a switch, bounce it from the air. Three stars. How do I wish? In the usual way, Timmy. Yeah, move your mouth to make words. Well, okay. I wish that I was back in front of a working TV watching Crash Nebula. Oh, dear. I'm sorry, Timmy, but wish stars simply aren't that powerful. Think everyday wish, not Sunday best wish. Um, so what can I wish for? You must wish for a magical catapult with which to activate the magic targets. When activated, these targets allow the pupil to leave the training arena. Wow! She's so bossy! If that's the only way out of here, I wish for a magic catapult. Well done, Timmy! You passed training! Now to find out what's up with our magic and your TV! Can emergency wish stars fix my TV? I've only missed half of Crash Nebula! We really have to find out why our magic isn't working, Timmy! We should visit Fairy World! But the TV listing says that Crash Nebula is on again tomorrow! Great! I've got 24 hours to fix my TV! There's no time to lose! To Fairy World! Um, this looks like Fairy World, but it's even stranger than usual! Oh no! Something's wrong! You don't want Jorgen Von Strangle to hear you! Just in case this is our fault! Ha! I'm not scared of Jorgen Von Strangle! Are you sure, Puny Fairy? <laughs> hey, we didn't do anything this time! I had considered blaming you anyway, Tiny Timmy Turner, but you are lucky. I already have a suspect. Mr. Von Strangle, sir, we've lost our wish-granting powers. We came here to find out why. All theories are without their powers. My muscular intellect suspects that it has something to do with the missing royal jewel. That's okay, then. Oh, no, wait. That's the worst thing that can happen. Oh, dear. Cosmos Fuse. Royal Jewel? Stolen? Why is that so bad? The Royal Jewel has tremendous magical power. It is the second most powerful magic known to fairies. And am I to guess that it's fallen into the wrong hands? Eh, uh, this is embarrassing, but I must ask for your help, Tiny Timmy Turner. Well, okay. Anything to fix my TV. What do you want? You must first rescue Fairy World from a devious peril. Come with me and I will show you. <laughs> Try to recover a stolen magic gem. My prime suspect is a jester named Quince. He worked for Oberon and Titania, our old king and queen. They recently fired him. So, Quince stole the jewel as revenge for losing his job? He took his jesting very seriously. Now he's causing havoc in Fairy World, demanding his old job back. So we have to fix the stuff in Fairy World, find the jester and stop him! With my expert management skills, even your puny trio should succeed. How exactly is Jorgen managing us? By leaving us to manage by ourselves, sweetie! I didn't get any of that. Let's just do stuff and see what happens. Okay! I've got three wish stars. Fairies, do your stuff! We need a little more information than that, Timmy. I need a lot more! If we're gonna rescue all those poor club free cards, we'll need something for transporting suits. Like a suitcase. Maybe some sort of playing card suit restoration gizmo thingy. Okay, I wish for some sort of playing card restoration gizmo thingy. I had one of those when I was a little fairy. Now you're a lot fairy. <laughs> now you can carry playing card suits from suit fountains. Duh, how else would a playing card restoration gizmo thingy work? I'm sure something used to be behind this gate. There used to be some rainbow stepping stones and bridges. And I'll bet that insane Jester Quince is on the other side, right? He must be, Timmy. This is the action of a fiendish vandal. Yeah, he'll suck my blood. That's a vampire, Cosmo. An insane vampire vandal Jester fiend from the other side. Come on. Let's find a way to fix the stepping stones before Cosmo uses up his entire vocabulary. This is the Fairy Dairy. Who's this guy? Ooh. He says he's the Dairy Fairy. He's worked with cows for so long, he speaks like they do. That's not too weird. Moo. Uh, moo? Moo. He says his three cow 
moves are missing from the cow shed. I assume that he wants our help then. Move? The cows have been scared away from their shed by Quince. And the cow shed activates the rainbow bridges? Moo means all that. It's all in the context. Context and nuance. You collected three stars so we can grant a wish. I wish I was a cowboy. I'll do this one. I'm a cow expert. Cosmo, haven't you ever seen a cowboy movie? Oh, yeah. I watch the Bovine Adventure Channel all the time. I think it's perfect. Fairy cows are very safety conscious and always look after their calves. So they'll follow me when I wear this ridiculous outfit? Well, okay. I did good again. Go Team Cosmo! There you go, Terry Terry. One slightly confused cow. Ooh. Yes, that should restore a rainbow stepping stone. Come on, guys. We've got two more cows to herd. The mighty color factories. Without them, life would be very gray. Something tore this place up pretty bad. What if we can't get the color back? Without my green hair, I won't be handsome. Don't worry, hon. One good wish should fix it. Once we have enough stars. It's some way to fix the color factory, guys. I have an idea. No, wait, it's gone. We need a tool that can fix anything. Then why don't you wish for a Reparatron? What? It's a fairy tool. We don't like effort, so we have Reparotrons to fix stuff. Okay. I wish for a Reparotron. You'll be able to use the Reparotron to fix broken things. We'll yell when we see any. I might just yell anyway. Whee! We're here. Where is he? Oh, Jester! Jester, Jester, Jester! La la la. Here I am. Are you Quince, the ex-royal jester? Hey, Nani Nani. I mean, yes, thy frumious bandersnatch. Give it up, Jester! You're not funny and you're coming with us! You have to give back the royal jewel and stop this nonsense! Jewel? Nonsense? Not funny? I'm positively Minzy without grade. I just want my job back. I guess it's a fight then. Why is it always fighting? Well, it's better than talking to this weirdo! I see that you have apprehended the despicable criminal. I'm not a despicable criminal. I'm a despicable jester. So do something funny! Lady Titania, Lord Oberon, Kalu Calais, have you come to give me my job back? What commands you to be silent, you miserable lump of earwig wax? Von Strangle, here is the thief. Where is the jewel? Where is the jewel, you miserable lump? What jewel? The royal jewel you stole, you pathetic speck of thieving termite dribble. I'm not a thieving dribble. I'm a dribbling jester. You still haven't done anything funny. I will question the suspect. He is puny. He will talk. I'm making you personally responsible for recovering the jewel, Von Strangle. See to it. Come, Timmy Turner. Come, incompetent fairies. Follow me. Where are we now? This must be Jorgen's base of operations. So many screens. Can't stop watching TV. The jester does not have the jewel. Someone else must have stolen it. I'll bet that stolen jewel is to blame for you guys losing your powers. And for my TV going kablooey. I will continue with my investigation. I will locate the thief. But I require a backup plan. What do we do? There's only one magical object more powerful than the royal jewel. Yay! A very versary muffin. Never underestimate the power of muffins. That is correct. There is the magic fairyversary muffin recipe. I will entrust it to you, but you must catch it first. Wow, look at that recipe go. I think he's had too much sugar. Found the recipe, Jorgen. I'm not impressed. Go, tiny Timmy Turner. Take the recipe, collect the ingredients, and bake a magic muffin. Only oven-baked treats can save TV. <laughs> Delicious pixie sugar, moon calf milk, a phoenix egg, and super strong hair raising flour? Where are we going to get ingredients like that? There's only one place I can think of. <laughs>
Sugar? I need some sugar to power my newest invention! And I just ran out of flour. Here you are, Mr. and Mrs. Turner. It belongs to Timmy. Oh, I'm sure he won't mind. Well, we raised him to be generous. <laughs> I lost the sugar, the flour, and the milk. But the egg is still okay. Hmm, I must be losing my touch. Did you get them back? I bet you did. All the ingredients are gone, Cosmo. What are we gonna do? There are no more in the store. But don't give up, Timmy. Yeah, we've got hours before Crash Nebula comes on. We've got plenty of time to go on bizarre adventures and find the ingredients. We'd better go talk to Jorgen. <laughs> that did not go so very well. How do you know? I was watching on one of my many fairy control screens. Oh, I don't suppose they show Crash Nebula. No. <sighs> You can use them to locate your missing ingredients. Move to a screen with an image and activate it. Ooh, oh boy, time to check in on the Home Improvement Channel. And better still, my latest invention can do all that strenuous TV stuff. Robot, channel 15,006, please. on Dad's robot's back. I always love your dad's dumb inventions. I bet he'll know how to get the sugar. Wake him up. The magic TV signal must be making him sleep. How do I wake him up? The easy way! We'll take you into his dream. You can wake him up from the inside. Great plan, cutie! <laughs> oh, guys! Is this what my dad dreams about? It's pretty weird, Timmy. But dreams tend to be weird. Wow, that's pretty weird. Dad's dreaming about a giant robot? What does that mean? It means he likes giant robots. I mean, who doesn't? <laughs> Let's concentrate on the job at hand, boys! Waking your dad up, Timmy! And how do we do that? We need to shock him awake. I suggest wrecking his dream. Do you mean destroy that robot? Sure, it's not real. He can dream it again if he wants. Okay, let's whip up some wishes and break dad free of that strange TV magic. A suit? But there's no one in it. Oh, yeah, it's creepy. Let's make a wish. This must be your dad's stream of consciousness. Ooh, streamy! We have to get down the river to reach the robot. But this boat doesn't look very seaworthy. It's as if your dad's subconscious is conflicted as to whether it helps us wake him or not. Yeah, he made us a boat, but out of weird stuff. Can we make this boat more... boat-like? Sure, Timmy. This is a dream. We simply need to stimulate the parts of your dad's brain that want to wake up. Yeah, what she said. Well, I'm no brain surgeon. But if you think it'll work, I'll give it a try. Dad, what should I wish for? We need to get past that spooky empty suit. What are suits scared of? Coat hangers? 
Dry cleaners, golf courses. Moths. Suits fear moths. Moths eat suits. That's suit 101. And moths are drawn to light. I wish for light. Hey, my good idea, Boat. I need that. But you so rarely use it. You can lead moths with it, Timmy, and also see in dark areas. <laughs> this is one of your dad's deep dreams. Deep dreams are where all the really weird stuff comes from. And we should be able to wait part of Dad's subconscious here? That's right. Look for a machine that looks like a metaphor. You can use it to stimulate your dad's brain into dreaming a better boat. What does a metaphor look like? Just look for a machine, Timmy. Use Cosmo's idea bulb to lure the moths and keep going. This? It's a dream representation of part of your dad's brain. I don't understand. How do you guys know this stuff? Our fairies are trained in the ways of the human mind. Except me. So I guess this lever wakes this part of Dad's brain up. <laughs> you learned fast! You've recalibrated your Dad's brain! He should be thinking of a better boat now! <laughs> well, that's a crummy boat! You need to wait past that huge metal block we saw! It looked very heavy! Ooh, metal is heavy! One time, I dropped a pan on my foot! Well, I never did that again! Except for the other times that I did! Metal's heavy! And also magnetic! I wish for an ultra-powerful super magnet! Oh, phew! We made a mistake, Timmy! Are you kidding? This is free, guys! But it's not an ultra-powerful super-magnet! It's a super-powerful ultra-magnet! No! Guys, it's great! Stop moping! We've got work to do! What's the theme of this deep dream? Caves, Wanda! Caves and metal! Everyone dreams of caves and metal! It seems pretty big! Wow, your dad doesn't skip on his dreams! He's committed! It looks as though your magnet will come in handy here! Great! Let's go smack Dad's brain some more! Initiated. Scanning. Tiny life forms detected. Subroutine activated. Source code. Stomp. Initiating stomp module. Destroy tiny life forms. Run! Timmy! 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 Oh, 
How many times have I told you not to break my giant robot inventions into a thousand pieces? Come on, Dad. It's not that bad. Ego in turmoil must wake up. I just had the strangest dream. You were there, Timmy, and you were a very naughty figment of my overstressed imagination. Dad, I need the sugar from your robot. Hmm? Oh, you like it, huh? It's the next inevitable phase in essential technology for very lazy people. Voice-activated remote control robots. You command it using the code words. Which are? Give me some sugar, baby. <laughs> I'm going to my den to sulk and have a tantrum. But do as I say, not as I do. Your dad sure loved his robot. I had to traumatize him, but I got the pixie sugar. And where parents are concerned, it's getting what you want that counts. egg to make a magic muffin, but the only one available on the internet is smashed to smithereens! Thanks to Vicky! Where can we find another one? Wait! I remember where I saw a phoenix egg! There's one in an old Crimson Chin comic! Say no more! That's it! Issue 133, part 27 of the Dark Phoenix Egg Saga! Chin alone! A classic issue! The evil H2 Olga is flooding Cincinnati! But why? You'll soon find out, Crimson Chin! Prepare for the power of a Phoenix Egg! No! My Chin-tastic powers draining into that fiery egg! And as soon as Chinsenaki is flooded, I'll destroy this egg and with it the power of a Crimson Chin! <laughs> wow! Can the Chin survive this peril? That's up to us, Cosmo! Let's go! So, what happens in this issue, Timmy? H2Oga uses the Phoenix Egg to siphon off the Crimson Chin's Chintastic powers! So what's with all the water? Aha! Uh -huh. In order to destroy the Chin's powers forever, Olga needs enough water to quench the fiery egg! So she takes over Chinsinati Waterworks and floods the city with Chintonite polluted water! So the water's evil? Even one part per gazillion in water could be harmful to me. It'd be good not to fall in, then! We start! Cha-ching! Oh, whisper apple pie! You're never alone with apple pie! You don't need apple pie, Cosmo. I need to be able to travel further in the air. With the limited power we have, I'm thinking short-term flight. I'm thinking short-term apple pie. I know. I wish I had the crimson wing. The crimson what? It's a flight thingy that comes out of Clef's gym. It's not as good as apple pie. There you are! One crimson wing! It'll give you a short boost when you use it, but you won't stay alive for long. As long as it's enough. Um, should we wait for a giant apple pie to break your fall? Oh, Timmy, we can grant a wish now! I'm hungry! Wish for ribs and sauce! Think functional, Cosmo. I wish I could jump high in the air. There you go! A tried and true solution to vertical launch scenarios! A pogo stick? Not just any pogo stick, Clef! This is the mighty pogo stick of justice! All rights reserved! Cool! What does that mean? Now you can defy gravity even on the tallest buildings! Insurance not included! Plus, we get to include an extra accessory with a cleft action figure! Yes! We made it inside the waterworks! The next step will be easy! Um, what's the next step? In the comic book, H2Olga's evil lairs at the top of the waterworks. And what of the Crimson Chin? I don't know, what about him? That was a rhetorical question, Cosmo! Well, I don't speak rhetoricalism! That's three stars! I claim my fairy wish! We could use something to defeat H2Olga's disturbing hench things! They made water, so wish for a giant curly drinking straw! Cosmo, don't encourage Timmy to drink evildoers! I know. I wish I had a freeze ray. That'll give us plenty of scope for bad puns. You got it! In keeping with your identity, 
We made it come out of your chin! Thanks, guys! You're the best! Crimson Chin! Are you okay? Oh, I'm... fine! Cleft! Just... tired from... straining... to be... free! Wow! H2O Olga really did sap your chintastic powers! Have you ever read this comic? That happens all the time! Must... stop... H2 Olga! Maybe you should free him, Timmy! You can't fight Olga in your condition, Chin! Leave her to me! Condition? What condition? He's a fully grown man! And you're just a ten-year-old boy! Thank you for your concern, Captain Cosmo! But I am so used to my powers, when they're stolen, it feels like a really mild dose of flu! So you see, Left must battle in my stead! It's perfectly normal, Cosmo! The whole point of sidekicks is to fill in when powers get lost! Don't worry, Chin! Clef will save the day! We passed a room like this on the floor below! I remember! You have to inflate the elephant with the foot bump! Wait, that's not right! This is the heart of the waterworks! Where's H2 Olga? She's not here! Maybe we're early! On the contrary, you are too late, Clef! I have almost absorbed enough water into myself to extinguish the Crimson Chin's power forever! She's huge! And overtly melodramatic! You cannot defeat the power of the Phoenix Egg! Oh yeah! That's what we came for! I knew we were here for a reason! Well, we're just gonna take care of H2O and get out of here, right? You said it, Captain Cosmo! It's clustering time! <laughs> Chin Wonder, once again, Chin Sonati owes you a debt of thanks. It was nothing, Chin. But we better get these superpowers out of this egg and into your jaw. Yeah, we don't want pieces of Chin in our muffin. I'll ignore that cryptic comment, Captain Cosmo. Ha! No more weak Chin for me. Thanks, Cleft. Off to Chin Sonati jail for this wet squib. This is a job for the Crimson Chin! Ha! <laughs> wrong way. Cincinnati is safe once again. And we have a new Phoenix egg. Let's get this one away from Vicky. We should get back. We still don't have all the ingredients for the muffin yet. Jorgen's going to make sure we never grant another wish again if we don't get a move on. <laughs> Or have you been kicking back while we do all the work? Do you enjoy having arms and legs, feeble Cosmo Fury? Sure, they're useful. Ah, you are too stupid to intimidate. Thanks. Have you found the royal jewel yet? Do we need the other muffin ingredients? I have not located the jewel thief. Where was it stolen from? The jewel was stored in a vault in Oberon and Titania's mansion. It was locked behind a magic door which never opens. Is the door that never opens still a door, or just part of a wall? I have decided that you, Timmy Turner, and your annoying godparents shall aid in my investigation. A precious jewel stolen from behind an unopenable door? This sounds like a mystery for Ace Spade, the Maltese Chicken. I love the way you switch disguises, sweetie. And I love mysteries. Most things are a mystery to me. Let's go! Good day, young man. Good fairies. Hello, crinkly old Chamberlain. 
Jorgen von Strangle sent us here to detect stuff. Ah, the missing jewel. Yes, it is a sad day. I feel pretty good. Me too. Maybe it's only sad if you're old. So, Mr. Faithful Retainer who was above suspicion, any clues? I'm sure the mansion is packed with them, young Master Tilly. Uh, but I fear my eyes aren't what they used to be. What did they used to be? Eggs? Bees? Turtle toes? Are Oberon and Titania here? I want to suck up to ex-royalty and maybe try on some fancy dresses. <laughs> Regrettably, due to a, um, shall we say, sudden attack of being too highly strung, my lord and lady are not available for interview. You should start by talking to the door that never opens. It guards the treasure room. A talking door? Okay, that sounds like fun. Let's detect. Ah, a ghost! Wanda, make it go away! It's probably as scared of you as you are of it, Cosmo! Wow, I'm really scary! So, the mansion's haunted, huh? Interesting. Through the door that never opens? Who's asking? Hello, Mr. Door! This is Timmy, an ace detective, and we're his... Uh... We're his cow pies! He means colleagues. Where were you on the night of the theft? Right here, genius. I'm a door. I don't move. Yo, baby! Don't make notes, take notes! And you've never opened? Hey, it's not my job to open. I keep people out. So the thief must have got into the treasure room through some other entrance? Ooh, you're sharp, I can tell. Would you mind if I dusted your hand with the prints? Yes. Our work here is done! We've pretty much explored this floor. We need to get upstairs. But there are no stairs to the upper floor. Fairies can fly, of course. We don't need any stairs. But I do. Stairs are fundamental to my ability to go up and down. I have a simple solution. Oh, boy. I love it when Cosmo thinks laterally. It's a whole new definition of lateral. If we turn the mansion upside down, then this will be upstairs, and upstairs will be downstairs. Simple. But won't Oberon and Titania be upset if we mess with their home like that? Who cares? I'm convinced. I wish for a mansion upside down. I'll the detectives turn the crime scenes upside down. Now ceilings will become floors, and floors will become ceilings. Try it now. Let's find out how good that creaky old Chamberlain is at dusting. I quite liked Quince is all. He made me laugh. That flea sneeze of a jester was never amusing, Oberon. He had to be let go. But he seemed so upset. And you blamed Quince for the theft of the jewel? Just as you said, that disgusting drip of frog snot, Jorgen von Strangle seemed to fall for it. Good. Good! Now, get rid of this irritating child and his moronic fairy godparents. Well, yes. Yes, of course. As you say, it shall be done. That was interesting. <laughs> but it was just hearsay, inadmissible as evidence. So let's find some miscible evidence. That's a pretty big loom. I wonder what they use it for. Cloth, I expect. But why? Oberon and Titania are rich enough to buy all the cloth they need. Wish stars must have been attracted to it. That suggests it's magical. Close to the guys. We're in a haunted mansion. What should I wish for? We need to be able to do the same thing as ghosts do. I'm already scary. Watch this. Okay then. I wish I could be a ghost. Careful what you wish for, Timmy. We don't want to do this the hard way. Cool. I'm a ghost. I bet I could see through grills and gratings and stuff. Activate the costume to go boom! It's so scary! Right, Cosmo? Give it away from me! No! Don't worry, Cosmo. I only haunt bad guys. We have three stars! What's your wish, Timmy? It's time to get down to serious detection, guys. There's something fishy going on here, and we need to be able to track it. That's right! The thief must have left a trail of some kind! I wish I had a magic magnifying glass to look for clues! Uh, we... we should call this uh, a magic magnifying glass! Uh, oh, get it? No, no we shouldn't. I don't think so either. Answer that again and I'll turn you into a candelabra, then light all your heads! When I use this magnifying glass, I should be able to see stuff that isn't visible to the naked eye. Oh boy, I'm gonna check everywhere! I'm funny! Laugh at me! Oh, guys! A secret 
passage behind Oberon and Titania's bedroom, huh? That's a little suspicious. Ah, uh, I bet this is how the thief entered the treasure room. I bet you're right, Cosmo. The question is, who could have had access to it? Wow! So this is the secret treasure room. Ah, uh, it's kind of empty. I expected a little more treasure in a treasure room. Maybe Oberon and Titania had to sell their treasure. It's hard to afford treasure when you're not royal. Oh, how sad. Not being filthy rich anymore. Please. Intruders. Beware. <laughs> of rodent fur? We will never tell you who has the jewel. Aha! Uh -huh. So you gave it to someone else! You foolish old ghost gizzard! Don't say a thing! It doesn't matter. They'll never stop the process. Soon the human world shall be ours to ruin! You intend to rule the world? One is royalty. Royalty should rule. If one cannot rule fairy world, one will make a new magic realm in which to be obeyed. We better get these two back to Jorian. He can question them. One supreme personage, manhandled by that muscle-brained outpouring of platypus vomit? Never! Now why didn't I think of that? Oh dear! They got away! Yeah, but look what I found in all this magical stuff! It's a magic muffin pan! Good work, Cosmo! That'll come in handy! I cannot believe that Oberon and Titania stole the royal jewel! I take it you were watching on your monitors? Don't you ever see anything useful? Like where the jewel is now! Be silent! You must continue to recover the muffin ingredients! Yeah, I know! Only a magic muffin has the power to undo the effects of the royal jewel. And give us our magic back! Not to mention fix the TV so Timmy can watch Crash Nebula. What's wrong with this stupid thing? Where's the babysitter channel? There's a special on humiliation techniques I want to see. Are aliens real? Possibly not. But that won't stop another highly improbable exploration of scientific fact on Are We Turner, if this is some stupid game, I'll make you scrub the bathroom with a toothbrush while wearing a dress. And I'll take pictures! What is the matter, almost evil space queen? Huh? You're that foreign exchange student from Europe. Am I in Europe? You are within your very own humongous and gargantuan space palace, the seat of your universal empire, from which you rule absolutely everything. Really? Oh. Correction, nearly everything, Empress Mickey. Only one tiny planet resists your steely grip. The planet Earth. It is time. Begin charging your invincible babysitter ray. Okay. Only one hero is capable of saving the Earth from Space Empress Vicky's dastardly babysitter ray. And that hero is... Me? Well, here we are on Vicky's evil planet, light years away from home. Well, at least you're dressed for it. The right clothing is vital in space. It can be chilly. Yes, thanks for the crash suit, guys. But now what? You're in a TV show, right? That's right, Cosmo! Weird TV magic has made this space show into reality! 
And Vicky has been cast to the villain, which is kind of appropriate. And Timmy has seen plenty of space shows on TV, right? I love space shows! Pow, pow! Perish alien scum! So you know exactly what to do! He does? Eat protein cubes, beam up, beam down, hit messy and trash compactors, make me noises, rescue sisters you didn't know you had, and head for the space palace! Gee, thanks for the help, Cosmo. It all sounds so straightforward now. Wow, how can Vicky afford this on her babysitter money? It's just a TV show, Timmy. How do we get inside? No problem, Cosmo. If TV is to be believed, then who doesn't believe in TV? Space palaces always have secret underground entrances. We did it! We're inside Vicky's evil space palace. That's great. Why are we here? Well, we really just want the moon calf milk that Vicky stole. But while we're here, we may as well foil her dastardly plans to babysit the entire Earth. Here we go! It's wish time! Now we can make one of your crash suits Gizmo's work! Ah, what'll it be? Protein cube insertion unit? In helmet surround sound stereo? Microwave boot warmer? There's one thing that every space hero needs, guys. I wish for a jetpack! Oh, good choice! Wow, my back is turbocharged! When you activate the jetpack, it'll whoosh you up in the air for a little while. And if its fuel pods are punctured, it'll explode so quickly you won't feel a thing! What a strange place! What is it for? My TV shows don't deceive me. This is a transporter hub. Do we need to transport? No, Cosmo, but we do need to collect that wish star. We need to deal with the Eugonium problem. The weird space gas Cosmo detected in that corridor? That's right. If I remember correctly, and it would be a first, gamma rays make Eugonium become solid. That's good. Of course. You can't walk on a Eugonium floor unless it's solid. Okay, then. I wish for gamma rays. One bucket of gamma rays coming up. That doesn't sound safe, Cosmo. I have a better idea. Wow, you modified my suit to give off gamma rays when I wanted to. That's right. And the shielding inside the suit will protect you from side effects and traces of nuts. Good thing fairies aren't affected by harmful radiation. That's why we don't tan. Hmm, and what are these? These gadgets, uh, they remind me of something. What is it, sweetie? I remembered! It's a pinballistic velocitizer! Uh, pinball what? It launches pinballistic ejectile podules. It's a transport device! If we wished for one of these podules, could we use it? Maybe that would help us explore. Cosmo, how do you know about this stuff? Oh, I watch a lot of science shows on TV. They soothe me. When do you watch all these shows? When I can't sleep because I'm watching TV! Okay, guys. We decided we need one of those doohickeys from TV. Ooh, a pin ballistic ejectile module. It would help if I knew what that was. I trust Cosmo, Wanda. I wish for a PEP. Oh, I'm so happy. Um, it's a big ball that I go inside of? It's not quite what I expected. It's fantastic. You'll love it. It's resistant to everyday knocks and shocks. So, uh, what do we do with it? You can roll around in it for fun. And wherever we find a pinballistic velocitizer driver, we can fire you at high speed into stuff. Uh, great. So, here we are, behind glass. I'm pretty. I deserve to be displayed. So how do we open Vicky's evil space door? We need power, Timmy. Small, portable power cells. And where do we find those? You can buy them in stores, but on Earth, not in space. On the other hand, Cosmo or I should shrink to tiny size, infiltrate the high-tech systems here, and swipe a few from Vicky. That sounds like a good plan. Ooh, who's gonna do it? Me? Wanda? Me? Wanda? Me? Vicky! Twerk! Mark! Oh, wait, it's me. Why are you here, Timmy Turner? And why are you wearing that ridiculous outfit? I intend to stop your evil plans, Vicky! So there! Oh, great queen of all that is, was, and will be! Shall I activate the lasers? Good idea, weird European kid. Well, hold him up until my babysitter Ray is fully charged! Lasers? I've seen lasers! Too many lasers, actually. But they won't stop me! <laughs> Truly, the Earth Warrior is mighty!
The raised charge meter only shows 6%. Aren't you supposed to wait until it's practically finished before you burst in and ruin my plan? Lesser heroes, maybe. But Crash Nebula believes in efficiency. I really hate you, Timmy Turner. Whoa, I guess this is the end of the show. Keep watching the skies. Now I got milk. Hi, guys. Check it out. Save the world again. It's a good habit to get into. Where are what are these weird words? Credits, Cosmo, remember? The TV magic made Vicky's space show into reality. It's all the fault of whoever stole the royal jewel. I get it. And the show ended when we won, so the credits roll. No? Ooh, they're making me dizzy. We should get out of here before the commercials start then. to order flour. I hadn't realized that I'd almost run out. And it's impossible to make banana bread without flour. And now, from Big Bad Bakery Broadcasting, Banana Bread Binge, a new show dedicated to all things banana bread. Ooh, my show's on! <laughs> oh, what's wrong with the TV? I want the Banana Bread Show, not some dumb documentary on monkeys! <laughs> well, really, a filthy monkey, go away! <laughs> Who are you? Where am I? I'll have you know that I am no ordinary monkey, brother! I am king of all apes! Beware, king ape! The television is talking to me! It's never done that before! Heed me, O oh king! These humans consider themselves more evolved than you, and will attempt to enslave you. But it is your destiny to rule them. Make of this world what you will! My destiny? To rule? But should I believe everything I hear on TV? But beware! One shall come to overthrow you with one sandal, a lion-shaped birthmark, and a silly pink hat. Well, the hat at the very least. Human female, do you know of this pink-hatted warrior? My son Timmy wears a pink hat. Then you shall come with me. If this pink-hatted warrior attempts to overthrow me, I will overthrow you! Throw you over! Uh, a wall, or something! Wait! Well, it won't be pretty, I don't mind telling you. Oh no! Mom's been kidnapped by a super-evolved ape king who needs to practice his threats! And Dimsdale has been turned into an ape world by TV magic! Oh, how will we get our banana bread now? I mean, we better rescue Mom and get that magic flower back! This isn't right. We're here! This is where the apes take their prisoners. What apes? Where? Why? It's TV magic, Cosmo. An ape documentary got mixed with other shows and now they've become real. And an ape captured my mom! So we've come here to rescue her. But now we need rescuing! How embarrassing! Don't worry, Cosmo. These apes may be highly evolved, but they're dumb enough to leave this crate here. Excuse me, human child. Who you calling human? It's an ape! Don't let him out! You can't free me. We political prisoners are imprisoned in extra sturdy metal cages. Political prisoner? What happened? We recently acquired a new king, but he's paranoid. It was prophesied that a small boy with a silly pink hat would oust him from his throne. That's why this place is under a hairy form of martial law. He created new laws to protect himself. And any ape who speaks out is imprisoned. He also captured my mom. Now I've got two evils to put right. The Tyrant King's headquarters are behind the giant ape in the temple. You must find a way to open the statue. That sounds exciting! The monkeys will help you. They hate the Tyrant King because he rations bananas. Remember the Rebel Force's password? Back to bananas! Back to bananas! Back to bananas! Back to bananas! There's a star in this cage. And a monkey! Ah, what did that ape say? Back to the Bahamas! Back to Banana 
this, Cosmo. We'd better free the monkey. This cage looks weaker than the metal type. Try climbing on it and bouncing it. All right. Three stars equals one wish. What do we need this time? An iron. My pants are creased. The ape rebel leader mentioned hordes of ape guards. He said swarms. Either way, we need to distract them. How about bananas? It's well documented that apes can't resist bananas. What about a banana launcher? Even better, a portable banana entrapment deployment snare! I wish I had a banana launcher! You'll need to collect bananas from banana trees! A banana launcher isn't as cool as a portable banana entrapment deployment dong do la banana furnace! No, I can't even say it now! These guys must be part of the horde of ape guards we were told about! Swarm! Don't let them see you! If you pop a banana next to them, it might distract them! Uh-oh! These apes really take their apiness seriously. Hey, that sure is one big monkey statue. The friendly ape said, we have to get behind here somehow. We should get a view from higher up. There are wish stars here. Let's get grabbing. Oh, look, a giant knot. A monkey nut. <laughs> I bet that opens the gate. And I bet we'll need a wish before we can use it. We need to open the gate by turning the nut. This wish is easy. Yeah, well, you don't have to grab it. I wish I had a monkey wrench to undo monkey nuts. What's a monkey wrench? I'm a male. I know tools. Follow my lead. Uh, that's just a monkey. It lacks a wrench component. But it's so cute. You're right. Look at the terror in its eyes. Aw. Well, I guess we'll have to see how well it wrenches. Look at that wall. Hard to climb, but not impossible. Not for a kid with very godparents. Let's find stars and wish. Okay, I need super sticky wall climbing abilities. Like Sticky Lizard Man from your comics. He's in the League of Ineffectual Evil. I wish for sticky lizard powers. Wow, that's cool. Now you'll be able to climb vine-covered walls like a real lizard. You can also bask in the sun and run on hot sand. But I already could. Well, we're pretty high up now. Come on, guys. How do we get past that statue? The Tyrant King must have created some fiendish mechanism to protect him. Ooh, check it out. Banana smelly litters. I saw those on TV. Oh, I don't get it. We should bounce those banana smelly litters. I bet that's how the statue is activated. Cosmo, I'm proud of you. That's a good thing, right? Uh-oh, monkey bars. A natural playground for simians, an impassable barrier for ten-year-olds. Oh, I have an idea! Wanda thinks we can use the monkey wrench monkey to cross. How do you know that? Never mind, it's a great idea. If the poor little fella's arms hold out. It's pretty weird, and not something I expected, but activating that first banana smell emitter seemed to have some effect. Banana's moving! I didn't expect that! Quick, jump aboard! It may be our only chance! We gotta ride that giant banana! I've been waiting my whole life for this! Check it out, guys! This is what the inner sanctum of an insanely paranoid ape king looks like! Hey! It's exactly like I thought it would be! There he is! On top of that apparently functionless pillar at the center of the chamber! Hey! There's all kinds of plants growing on it! That means I can climb it with my sticky lizard wish! But how are we going to stop the Ape King from raining coconutty destruction down on you? It's all too much! And there's your mom! Oops! Don't let her see us, Cosmo! Timmy, could you help me, please? I've been captured by this ape! He forced me to pick lice from his fur and eat them! You furry fiend! Prepare to eat bananary justice! No! It's the human child from the prophecy! You'll not take my lands or my chattels or bondsmen or any of that stuff! Who do? Timmy, how many times have I told you not to fight prophecy-fearing, super-evolved ape kings? But, Mom, I rest! You. Well, that's all that's stopping me from grounding you, young man. Now, where's my flour? I still have banana bread to bake. Um, the flour was spilled in the fight, Mom. You'll have to buy new flour. 
Typical. I guess a mother's work is never done. All the flour was spilled! Oh no! What do we do? Take it easy, Cosmo. I couldn't give the magic flower to Mom. I've got it right here. Good work, Timmy! The show is over! TV shows are dangerous when they become real, but at least they end! We better leave before we start to experience technical difficulties! My vertical hole feels a little itchy! an oven, please allow me. Magic TVs are all broadcasting the same show now. Soon, that show will take over the world. The muffin is too hot to eat. We'd better get to the TV station and do what we can while it cools. But which TV station is it? You see, I have been investigating. It is Channel 13. He said that he would use the royal jewel to create a new magical realm on Earth for us to rule, but he lied. He used the jewel to make your TV devices magical, so they would make real TV shows. Who? Who took the jewel? Who is running this TV station? I have an idea about that. Uh, excuse me, young man. It's the Chamberlain! Then whose shadow is that? I don't think it's mine. I... I have a confession to make. No, man! Let me! He's the one! The Chamberlain's shadow! He is evil! The shadow tricked us. He promised us a realm to rule, then took it for himself. We don't like to be tricked. You're washed up, Oberon. In your hunger for power, you considered yourself more important than other fairies. And now, you pay the price for your pride. Let me get this straight. The Chamberlain isn't attached to his shadow? Don't you get lonely? I magically separated my shadow from my feet centuries ago. You see, I thought that if there were two of me, I could better serve my lord and lady. But the fool failed to realize that all shadows are evil. Evil, I say! And now, after years of slavery and plotting, I will finally rule my own custom-built world! I get it. You used the power of the Royal Jewel to broadcast magic through TV sets. And now you can broadcast any show you want into reality! That's right, Timmy Turner. It took some time to tune the channel properly, but now I'm broadcasting Shadow TV to make a world in which shadows will wear their casters, not the other way around. <laughs> we'll foil your two-dimensional plan, Shadow! We have to try!
broadcasting Shadow TV to the ends of the earth. And the power of the Royal Jewel is making it real, all real. Now, shadows will drag you people behind them through the dirt. <laughs> oh no. Where's the mountain? A fairy nursery muffin. Oh no, you don't. mansion to celebrate. No time. I have a TV show to watch. Guys, I wish we were home. You got it, Timmy. That was the repeat of the season finale of Crash Nebula, which will never be shown again. Here's hoping you didn't miss it. Timmy, at least you saved the world! What? Who cares about the world? I missed Crash Nebula! It could be worse. The whole world could have been turned into Crash Nebula! At least then I'd know what happened! But aren't you forgetting something? We have our powers back! See? What? Yeah! I wish I could see the season finale of Crash Nebula! <laughs> 